My name's Kevin Steed. Subscribe to Hill Steven on YouTube.com or I'll come to your house and ruin your life. Situation involving in TNA. Apparently, TNA today has released a lot of wrestlers, and more is still to come. But when it looks like they're trying to save money and take away dead weight in order to pretty much save money for when they go out on the road. The following people have been released Joey Ryan, Crimson, Christine York, Tyler Hendricks, and Madison Rain. Even though Madison Rain, her contract expired with TNA, and she did not sign a new one from what it looks like. She is still pregnant, and once her pregnancy is over, she wants to become a full-time mother, which is totally understandable. Fine. Again, listen, it sucks to hear that people are getting released. I've never been fired before, but I'm sure for people who have been fired from a job or let go, it's not the best experience. It's not a really good thing to go through. You really don't want to hear about this, but, you know, it's the way of life, you know. Life goes on. Nothing lasts forever. But, again, it sucks to see that guys that are so young that can at least... To an extent, amount of potential, they could have been something, and TNA decides to pull the rug under them. You know, Joey Ryan, even though to me, after the whole gut check angle with Al Snow, I felt like they shitted on him. Perfect example, in the match against um, Joseph Park at lockdown, they had him job to Joseph Park, which seemed so fucking stupid. And the reason they even had that match, that match should have been the first match of the night on our pre-show, if you get what I'm saying, or an impact. Crimson, you know, he was undefeated for over a year with some change, and they have him lose to James Storm at last year's anniversary. and then after that, they pretty much lost direction with him. They bring him back a couple weeks ago for the Bountiful Glory Series qualifier matches. They give him a mic time, and you would think because they give him a mic time, he, that he would actually win a match, and they have him job to Joseph Parks. So what's the point of bringing him back? You know, I thought they wasted him pretty much right there. Tyler Hendricks, you know, I thought for what it was, she was a good worker. I felt like, you know, in the match against Mickey James a couple weeks ago, she was doing very good for herself. She was very good offensively. And, you know, maybe I thought that she could have been a knockout champion maybe in a year or two. But obviously that won't happen now. Christine York, another one. You know, I thought Christine York was going to be, you know, without a shadow of a doubt, a future X Division champion. And maybe two to three years from now, maybe a future World Heavyweight champion. He had the look. He had the charisma. But, unfortunately, we'll never see that now. And... Again, it sucks to hear this, you know, but at the end of the day, life goes on, you move on, and you learn from what you've gone through. But this is typical IWC, YWC marks nowadays, and I want you guys to just hear me out on this, okay? And if you are easily offended, I apologize, but this is the truth at its finest. What? The WWE released Zack Ryder? Justin Gabriel Tyson Kidd? 3MB, Sweet Tea, Brodus Clay? Oh, they're all jobbers. They all suck anyway. They'll probably go to TNA, you know. What? TNA released Christian York, Joey Ryan, Crimson, Tyler Hendricks. But yet, they'll keep Garrett Bischoff and Wes Briscoe and Eric Young and Joseph Parks and they'll take them out just so they can re-sign the task to a new contract? Fuck, TNA gonna go out of business. Fuck TNA, they're done. That is typical marks nowadays with their logic. That is so fucking stupid, in my personal opinion. But then again, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And until next time, I will catch y'all later. Peace!